Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the soloist quaintly. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog related content. Soloists Quaintly, Holoweeds Quaintlies have been around for 3000 years, dating back to Aztec times in ancient Mexico. With the defeat of the Aztecs and their culture by the Spanish, the breed diminished drastically, essentially becoming rare. The name comes from Holo, the Aztec god of fire, and Itzcantli, the Aztec word for dog. The Holo today is being acknowledged with increased interest in for its companionship, loyalty, cleanliness and flexibility to do it all. They make great companions, show, agility, obedience, therapy and service dogs. First, let's have a look at the pros. Soloist Quaintly is an energetic, even-tempered, and friendly dog that has no aggressive tendencies. They are calm dogs that make good family dogs but are better suited for families with older children that can match their energy. Good for allergy suffers, the hairless version is a great choice for people with serious allergies. Extremely healthy, the hollow has very few inheritable conditions and an overall excellent lifespan. Zolos make great watchdogs and will alert you in case they realize that there is something that is not adding up. It's now time to look at the cons. Separation anxiety, this breed needs plenty of social and mental stimulation throughout the day. Sensitive skin, because of its hairless trait, the hollow skin is sensitive to sunlight, bad weather, and environmental irritants. Reserved with strangers, hollow prefers familiar faces rather than new ones. Emotional sensitivity to stress, loud voices, rough handling, and abrupt changes in schedule. He is a territorial animal and does not like it when other animals come into the property that he considers theirs. Hollow is a primitive dog, which doesn't make them the best around smaller animals such as cats. They are escape artists, hence tall secured fence is needed in the yard. Interesting facts, it is strongly believed that Zolos have healing capabilities, especially in treating asthma, rheumatism, and insomnia. The ancient people believed, that if they are buried with their owners, the dog to human companionship will continue in the afterlife. When Columbus arrived in the Caribbean in 1492, his crew spotted hairless dogs, which turn out to be Zolos. They liked the dogs so they transported them back to the Europe with them. There is a football team named the Zoloitskindles de Caliente. And the hollow dogs are an official mascots of this team. Appearance, this hollow dog has two coat varieties, hairless and coated, and comes in three main sizes, toy, miniature, and standard. Toy Zolos are 10 to 14 inches tall and weigh 10 to 15 pounds. Miniature varieties are 14 to 18 inches tall and weigh 15 to 30 pounds. The standard variety is 18 to 23 inches tall and weighs 30 minus 55 pounds. This breed comes in a variety of colors, such as black, gray-black, slate, red, liver, and bronze. Zolos can live for quite long with the average lifespan being 13 to 18 years. Diet, exercise, and the time and attention you provide your dog are all important factors in extending their lives. Grooming, baths should be given fortnightly using a sensitive shampoo that'll prevent skin irritation. Nails grow super fast on the hollow so ideally these should be filed and trimmed every week. Despite the hollow's lack of molars their teeth still need brushing weekly, if not daily. You could think that grooming Zolos is simple because they are practically hairless canines. They sweat through their skin and paws while cleaning themselves like felines. Ensure that those areas are always clean to avoid clogging of the sebaceous glands. Cost On average a hollow puppy will cost $2,750 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $800 and $4,000. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. Daily long walks and vigorous play sessions are essential to meet Hollow's exercise needs. Both miniature and standard Zolo should receive up to one hour of exercise each day. It is best to start training as soon as possible, anywhere between 8 to 12 weeks of age. Expect them to be quiet and cuddle with you indoors to keep you both warm. They also enjoy spending time in the sun. Younger Zolos need more exercise to keep themselves out of trouble since they are more energetic than the fully matured ones. 
Zolos may be intelligent but they aren't known to be easy to train. Sessions should be kept short and interesting with positive reinforcement. Food-based rewards and toys are the best way to keep a dog's attention during training. Offer praise and affection every time they master a command. Zolos are quick learners, they just require patience. To prevent fear in the hollow as they grow older, take them to varied places and introduce them to new sounds. Before introducing obedience, respect training should be established. When the Zolos have a better understanding of their owner's leadership, they will be more receptive to obedience training. Thankfully, these clever canines won't be too tricky to housebreak. A grown hollow can jump over a six-foot fence with ease, while a puppy can jump over a three-foot barrier. If you decide to get a hollow, make sure your fence is safe and escape-proof. As always, early socialization is essential for your dog to grow to be a well-mannered canine. Overall, a properly trained hollow can be a vigilant watchdog, as well as an excellent heating companion. Barking Zolos are not barkers but will alert you if they think it is something serious. So if they bark, make sure to look into it. Though not typically a vocal breed, the hollow will alert bark when annoyed or worried. This breed can be very territorial and will guard its home, its property, and its people. Weather and climate The solo is queenly, also known as the Mexican hairless dog, is well suited for hot weather. This breed is closely related to dogs from the ancient Aztec civilization and is no stranger to warm temperature and hot sun. It can withstand brief walks in cool weather if protected with a sweater or coat. Some Zolos may have white spots on their body. These areas are prone to sunburn and must be protected during hot weather. Friendliness They are naturally aloof and unfriendly towards strangers and territorial of their properties. Zolos can also get along well with other animals if they are raised with them. However, they can be reserved towards other dogs and may chase smaller animals they see outside. The hollow can live with other dogs but they should be raised together from puppyhood. A poorly trained and socialized hollow has a tendency to be aggressive towards strangers, especially when they are provoked. Adaptability Zolos can readily adapt to any type of housing, including apartments and condos because of its varied size. They do, however, require a tranquil environment. Zolos are sensitive to loud and furious voices, as well as other noises and emotions. Headstrong with a mind of their own, this breed will need an experienced owner to take the lead. They are easily stressed and are prone to stomach problems and neurotic behavior. Zolos, on the other hand, are not recommended for homes with high levels of stress. Zolos do not like to be left home alone for more than a few hours. The majority of the time, they require the company of their family. It is best to have them with you whenever you go out as much as possible. Zolos may engage in destructive behaviors like chewing, barking, or digging, which can lead to anxiety. Guard slash watchdog, while suitable as watchdogs, Zolos do not make good guard dogs. These dogs will speak up and let you know if anyone comes to the house dash but since they can be reserved with strangers, don't expect them to frighten off any intruders. Health issues, there are some ailments they may suffer from, such as arthritis, blindness, deafness, heart murmur, and joint pain. Also, it is important to take care of their skin due to the fact that they don't have much hair. Applying the dog's sunscreen would help protect their skin from the sunlight and don't let them stay under the sun for too long. During cold weather, a thick sweater would help to keep them warm. Have you had any experience with Hollow? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.